Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Sunday. Yes, I'm recording on a Sunday. My son is at grandma's. My husband is actually trying to use the phone in the other room. So I figured I have a quick minute to try to record my kids' blessings. Um, the kids' blessing is hosted by Pat Sweeney and Alicia from Alicia's Crafty Flop Hop. Um, and I got my name, I got an email, I got my name, and the family that I am doing has three kids, and so I had a little help, but I have goodies, but I wanted to kind of, kind of show you what we did, and Zach picked some things out, and from his, his toys that he didn't want to have anymore, and you won't see them because they're already wrapped, but, um, I will show you the other things that he decided to get the kids. So let's get started. So first comes first. Hang on, I gotta pause you for just a minute. Do apologize. Um, so the first things first is when I uh, found out, and Alicia was doing it. Zach had heard the conversation, and I had already put this on a video already, and he was very upset that you know Santa couldn't you know make it. So, you know, I had to do some rearranging and I literally had to tell Zach that <clears throat> moms and dads give Sienna some money um, to get some of the presents that the elves can't make. So, that is how that come about. I had to hurry up and make this really, really quick thing. And it just, off the top of my head, it went that way. So... I talked to my mom, and you guys know that my mom is a crocheter, right? So, I was having troubles trying to figure out what to make the kids. Um, so, my mom went ahead and come through for me on a couple things. And then I made one thing for the girl, and then each something else that is could be useful, could be not. I don't know. So, this is what my mom has made. She made... A little bear I think it looks more like a dog but I don't know so but she called it a bear and so we went ahead and she put a little Christmas hat on it so there's the one that she went ahead and did and I wonder if I can pull this up so guys give me one minute to see if I can get it up so there we go a little bit so there is one of the animals that my mom made the other one that my mom made was a crocodile, alli alli I don't know, alligator. Oh, why is that there? I'm trying to take my stuff. So look how cute he is. So that is the other one. I apologize, I've got the hic hiccups. And then she made this. Look how stinking cute that says. So, these are the three that my mom went ahead and made. Um, really not knowing, she just kind of picked for, okay, like these were for the girls. And this is for the boy. So, that is what started that. And then, we said something about, you know, maybe the goodies. So, I went to the Dollar General. And you got, see this little stocking? Um, so, what I did was I went ahead... This is the extra one. You get two for a dollar. So I went ahead and put the other, the kids' name right here in 2020 on with some tool glitter dimensional paint. Okay. So that is what I did. And now I'm going to put you guys back down so you guys can see me a little more. There we go. Um, so yeah, so... It has this, and, you know, there are certain goodies, so I went ahead and got the certain goodies. But, that's not what they get to see when they get to see it. Okay, let me grab them. I have a box, and I have to figure out. These are how I package them. And I gotta watch the names. So, this is, let me flip one over. So, that is what this one looked like, the law. And I got this from, um... Uh, Oh, Dawn Sutton as a We Wish. So it's one of um, 
the die cuts that she had sent me for my Wee Wish. This I made with my uh, Mini 8. And then these are just those stickers. And then that I made this envelope. The, I think they're called policy envelopes. Um, with that paper. So then I filled it all up with this and some goodies. Now, I did find the, the mask that um, I found at the Dollar Tree is also in with this. So each of them gets a mask. So I thought that was cool. So there's that one. And then this one, I just decorated the same way. It's got a snowman, some little snowmans and stuff. So there's that one. So I still have to decorate the things. Hold on, I gotta get the other one. And then this is the back of the other um, little thing. Mind you, it still has the, and this is for the little boy. So I tried to do like the colors that they liked. So the package, so there's the other thing. Now, this is what Zach did. He put like some of his stuff like this. This one's mine, he gave me this in this sweet. Like his little things that he gets like this. So he gave his mommy this one because it's a unicorn. And guys, I'm sorry, I've been painting this early this morning. So I've been crafting. So, like stuff like this. He's got like stuff like this. He's got trolls. He's got um, Ryan's world little dudes that he has doubles of and extra that he was going to just sell. So, and then he gave this to me because how sweet is he, huh? Um, so yeah, just to show you, like, things like this. So, but we've packaged them up, and each of them get one of these. Now, I did this for a reason. The mom is a crafter, so I went ahead, instead of doing a lot of resin, I went ahead and did some eyelash trim. And so each of the kids will have a box like this. How cute is that, right? It's got little animals and they have their name. Like I, I did the tags. So that is the three things. I'm gonna send it this way. So then the mom can use the eyelash trim. And then Zach picked out each a grab box at the Dollar Tree. So they each get one of these and the names are on them. Yep, the names are on them. And then again, little eyelash trim for the mom. I know it's not much, but I think she'll enjoy having some. Um, okay, so, and then we each did like a pair of socks for them. And I wanted to be a surprise because I don't know if the mom knows who, like, I guess Zach's getting some and I don't know who Zach got, so, um, but not necessary. I wanted to say that. Um, so I I wrapped it all because it's just little goodies and stuff for them to have. And each of these boxes, I will say, has at least four or five different things in it. And then <clears throat> this is what I made. And you guys are going, what is that? Um, it took a minute and I couldn't think of anything. I'm like, what do I make them? Well, I had a friend, Hi P, state that, why don't you do like a pillowcase? So I went ahead and we made, my mom helped me make pillowcases for each kit. Now, here's my thought. On the pillowcase, honestly how cute it is, they could use it for just a bag or you know what putting stuff in it they don't have to use it for a pillowcase if they didn't want to they could use their imagination so one of the kids this is the stuff that Zach picked out with his own money will get um, a My Little Pony a little I don't know like Mozart thing so that's what that is Mostly like crafty stuff. And these come from the Dollar Tree and the, the Shrinky Dinks. And now I do know that they will have to have help from their mom. 
And then he decided, we decided to each give each kid a book for Christmas. So I'm going to put all this stuff in this and wrap it up in a bow. And I probably will let the mom know in the card that I make um, that that's what this is. So there's one. Okay. And here is the other. It's a music note. They're all kind of different. Um, they have been washed several times to make sure that they don't shrink anymore. And I have to iron it a little bit. But here we go. Alright, so one of the kids loved to write and is an honor student. So this is the other thing I, I had made. Um, I altered a notebook. And... Like, my hair does not need to be on here. So, be a unicorn in a field of horses. So, the horses is sickled up. And the unicorn's here. And I sickled some of their her hair. And then I did some sickles there. Just to kind of glam it up a little more. I want to show you that. And then on the back, I also... Plus he cut this out. This is a doily. And then it says hello. And I also sparkled it up. So then you, when you open it. May all your dreams come true. I thought that was kind of cute. Here is a pocket. I don't have anything. Of course I don't. Yes I do. Hang on. A pocket. That she can put whatever she wants in it. And then she could put her name or whatever here. And then on this side, I do have unicorns. And these unicorns were in my friend mail from Lisa Douglas. So, hi Lisa. These are from Lisa. The little unicorns that are in the little frames. So I did use them. And then this is a pocket. So, we went ahead and did that. See, and there's a unicorn that come from the sticker pack. So, I went ahead and did that. So, with that being said, I went ahead and got her some pins. Disney, different colors that she can write with. And then Zach and I both had chosen a couple of things for her. Um, age appropriate is what we were trying to go for. I mean, but the two girls could play together with them, I guess. Um, a one bracelet kit. And then a friendship bracelet. Another thing of shrinkies, shrink charms um, that they can color. And then a book. Trying to figure out, because she is a good reader, trying to figure out a book for her was kind of hard. But we, Zach went with that one. So I said, okay. So that is that. Last but not least, we have the little boy. So, of course, we're going to go Spider-Man. Some kind of superhero, right? Yes. So here, it's got glitter on it. Why does that not surprise me? So you open it up and this this what is in here. Now I have other stuff in here. It was just easier for me to do it. So Zach picked out it's a fun felt. He's at like a round four four year old. So went ahead and got a felt fun thing because you know being the COVID, I don't know if they're going anywhere. Give him a little fun idea. They pop these out and he can do his own little planet thing. So we bought a second one, but due to packaging and stuff, I just put it together. And this is a C one. They can have C, he can use it. Imagine and have C animals in the, in, in space. Um, so then we we also went ahead and I found this in my stash. So Zach wanted to give it to him. 
So this was a, um, this came from Michael's, like from last year, but it's a Mickey Mouse color thing. Um, I thought this was just one of them pop and goes, but these actually heat, they're hard, and they pop them after you color and you pop them out, and they're three, like a 3D type thing, which I thought was kind of neat. A Paw Patrol book. This was one of Zach's favorite books, but it wasn't like this, but it was, okay, it was this book, but not like this, if that makes any sense. It just tells who the, the very first pretty much ones are, and why can't I get that open? Okay, let's get it open. You can always tell when you go to the Dollar Tree, and there we go. So that's that. And then, of course, Zach wanted to have him have some superhero. I hope the mama doesn't care, but it's over 500 stickers, and Zach has several. So he said that he'd be willing to get rid of some of it. So there, guys, that is what Zach and I have done for the kids' blessing, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I am going to repackage this up. It does not fit in the right box, so I have to get a different box and iron. And I am done in it with a card, and I will be sending it as probably as soon as middle of next week, maybe. But guys, until next time, I want to wish everybody a great week and try to have a happy holidays. Until next time, guys, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Bye, guys.